you know, I, I really did not expect for this to be going down today, but here we are with fucking brand new ban list and it's like long as hell. This is like a big ass list. It doesn't address everything. And I think like there's a, there's a lot of flaws with this list, but, um, it's something that they've, um, you know, decided to make the weekend of both UK nationals and YCS Philly, which, you know, probably has about 4,000 people total. Like people are playing their decks to their competitive limits right now. Not, and they went into the event, not even knowing that super heavy samurai will never be the same because now scarecrow's banned. Cash will be just fine. Um, throughout this list because all they really hit was mine hacker and a rise heart unicorn being at two doesn't really matter it's a one card starter and they still have triple field spell so cash tier is going to be just fine cyberstein stops nothing because the only thing like cyberstein was like an optional thing it wasn't even like the most broken um fucking f finisher you know it's sort of like uh it wasn't like verde anaconda where everyone was running it you know it's like, okay, cool, you know, if you could resolve Cyberstein, you made the Naturia exterior. The only thing that this really hits is, like, Tier Limit, because they, they needed this shit um, post, uh, post the last ban list where they hit everything. So, um, Tier Limit players are kind of um, a, a little salty right now, but, like, ultimately, like, Super Heavy players don't really care that Cyberstein's banned. They care more about the Scarecrow. And... It's not that Super Heavy is going to be completely dead, but it's like now without Scarecrow, we have no way of playing around fucking Droll. Like there's there's just no way. Like and now it's like we don't have one card starters except for Wakashi and Wagon. Like those are our two one card starters now because Wagon can search Soul Guy Booster and Soul Guy Booster can either make a Gear Gigant with it or um, they can make Ballista, like, they could still start their turn, but there's not much more they could do. I think Gear Gigant would be the best route, because they can, um, search Wakashi and then go into, um, some Synchro plays. They can probably, the thing is, is that, like, if they use Soul Guy Booster to go into the Gear Gigant off of Wagon, then they'd have to search one of the level one or two extenders off of, um, Big Ben K. And, like, it, it just makes it so it's a lot harder to, one, go into Excel Stardust Dragon now, and two, it's also, um, which means, like, going, getting into Excel Stardust is harder, which also means that getting into, um, Baron is harder now for Super Heavy Samurai, which means they're more vulnerable to Nibiru. So this makes them more vulnerable not just to draw a Lockbird, but also to, to Nibiru, it, um, I don't know how much Soul Peacemaker is going to matter in the deck now, because we're going to need more starters and less extenders to play the deck, and, um, there's no, like, index searcher for Wakashi other than Bike, so now it's, like, we have 9 out of 40 to start our turn now, instead of, like, 15 to, 12 to 15 out of 40, um, so yeah, this is this is going to be a really big blow to Super Heavy Samurai. I don't think the deck will be able to survive competitively, uh, unless you're playing like an Earth Machine variant. But even then, um, a lot of research is going to have to be done to account for this. And it's like it's such a big hit so soon. Like if they would have limited this, I would have understood like completely. I would have been like, yeah, you know, that's fine. Super Heavy could still play, but now it's like. Without the second one, it's a lot harder for them to play around Droll, so it would have been more skillful. But without Scarecrow in general, it's like you're going to have a lot of people just throwing the deck out. Like, just throw the whole deck away. Like, you want me to play 40 monsters and, and I can't even have a Link 1 Searcher? Like, come on, you know? Um, so, a pointer getting hit, I mean, that's, that's fine, honestly. This card's kind of toxic. I never got hit with it, but I can understand, like, in theory, you know, um, setting up a broken-ass board, then... You know, um, you know, opponent's turn, you look at their hand and you banish, like, the one out that they could have possibly drawn to your, to your board. Like, a pointer was a little toxic. And Explosion is great, but, like, without Puppet getting banned, um, Branded can still Puppet lock you, uh, thanks to their new fusion. Uh, we go into Limited here. Uh, we have Blaster coming back to, to one, uh, just in time for the new Infernobles, new Battling Boxers. 
um, in Fronoid players, you know, the, the, the three of you guys can, you know, high five each other, I guess. Um, this doesn't do much for dragons, but like for fire decks and with the new volcanic support too, I think that that's pretty cool. Circular getting limited, like it seems like insignificant. It hits the consistency of Cybers a little bit, but they still have routes to get into this where it's like, instead of hard opening the circular now, they still have small world, they still have sign at mining and they still have sign at codec to search this card. Um, and then with the new firewall support, like they can just, it's a lot easier to get into either mining or sign at codec now. So circular getting limited really is not that big of a deal. Um, gamma over here getting limited is a bigger deal because now it's like we might have to copy the OCG and start going into um, Delta or Espelon. Like you would think Gamma getting limited like completely removes its ability to be in the format, but like people will still play a single Gamma and just use the driver for Delta or Espelon to negate spells and traps rather than just monsters, which is really interesting. Um, Deng Long coming back, uh, it's real. It, it's it's really fun because like literally it's been um six years since this shit got banned and I, I literally i'm looking at my old zephyr deck profile right now to see if there's anything that that you know we can do off of this and i don't think there is because we needed three miscellaneous source back then and so like maybe that might be the straw on the camel's back like maybe without the the triple misc this particular zephyr dino build won't work but like sword soul it exists and um they have otara which is a level one tuner that summons itself for free, basically, and, you know, most of the monsters in the deck are level 4, um, so it allows for some really cool plays, also, <clears throat> they also, they, they, they still have triple heavenly dragon circles, so even if, um, they don't open the Otara, and they still want to go into the Yangxing synchro to play nine pillars, like, they definitely can, like, they can just start playing nine pillars now with, like, really no repercussion, and they still have triple rivalry as well. Oh, shit. I didn't even know this thing had an ultra rare. But look at... Oh, <laughs> this thing's probably going to go up. I, I can tell you this, this ultra rare is probably going to go up right now. Um, well, maybe not like today, but like over time it's going gonna, it's gonna to start going up because now the Deng Long's back. Um, actually, what what is Deng Long at? Is it... Like just price-wise. Oh, shit. This thing is already... Um, already getting sold like for 25 26 27 shit bro hold, hold on to your band cards this is if, if, if this is if, if that isn't what you're picking up from that then i don't know what is uh arise heart getting limited whatever pearly delicious memory getting limited it's literally whatever because it doesn't even matter which pearly card this is it doesn't even matter which like which effect this is because unless you limit all of them they all do the same thing and they all bring out the level one pearly from deck which you know, the deck still gets to play, basically. Like, it's still going to be the same thing. And they could just search this off of Lily anyway. So, it's not even like, by limiting this, you're taking it out of rotation or making it less consistent. It's like, you're really not. The deck still plays the exact same. And Naturia Sacred Tree um, for fucking Naturia Runic. I, I mean, I, I guess it, it doesn't really seem like a problem. Uh, I don't really know why they limited it now. Like, the, the Naturia half of the Runic cards was not the problem. <laughs> like, the the Naturia half of Naturia Runic was not the problem. So now we get into semi-limits. Orange Light's coming back up to two. Here we go with our first actual Kashtira hit is Unicorn. Because um, you are slowly going to learn that you can't kill Kashtira just by banning Diablosis. You actually have to hit the engine, right? Not just the fucking one... One in every ten duels combo card, you have to hit the actual engine to kill Kashtira. Um, Lightning Storm coming back up, going down to two, like, I don't really get it. Like, what's Lightning Storm cooking, you know? Like, that's so strong. I mean, Evenly Match is a way better card. Um, and that's still at three, so I don't really get why Lightning Storm's here. Runic Fountain is only at two, like, really does not matter. Like, this is the literal definition of slap on the wrist like th this is nothing like the naturia runic still plays the exact same okay maybe their foolish burial goods will be less consistent but like they still have like 
just about every fucking runic card still searches fountain uh thanks to hugan and hugan is not getting hit because they have another runic card coming in duelist nexus um they have that uh i forgot his name uh but yeah they, they have that new fusion coming out and that one's like just a fucking quick effect interruption that can remove cards from field i think temporarily something like that uh so we have engage coming back up to two so this was at one and went up to two and they're just really trying to push sky striker with this list which is like right before north american nationals they they want people to start playing sky striker again so expect your linkage and your um sky striker cards to start going up again and sprite starter to to two definition of slap on the wrist it's like they still have triple jet tri triple blue like as long as gigantic sprite blue and jet exist like the deck will be fine sprite will be just fine like I don't, I don't it really does not fucking matter at all uh so steam the cloak birdman lotus quick fix these are all cards that like these cards could be a 10 and, and, and it wouldn't fucking matter i guess maybe not quick fix because they you have machine dude but even then um dd crow is going to be in the format because of gimmick puppet nightmare meaning um Quick fix being able to search the equip spell and then try to revive itself. It's like it's it's not going to be that crazy. Um, it's also still not a hard once per turn. So I mean, I guess you could play triple of the equip spell if you wanted to, but then that means you'd have to be um, committing to more spiral cards, which you know again, not really that great because they still don't have master plan. Um, but. If you can make it work with just a quick fix and no master plan, I guess, you know, congratulations, you can play Spiral. Um, <clears throat> this this Samsara thing, it was like part of a plant FTK, and now they've bring it back to three. I guess Ricka can use it because it like re it, it, it revives itself from your graveyard if you have no spells and traps during the end phase. So I guess that's cool. Um, and then Birdman... I don't know why it was limited for so long, but, you know, congratulations, Miss Valley players. Birdman's back up to three. <laughs> um, and, yeah, so Recital Starling's at three now, which, cool. You know, like, it, it, in the back of my mind, this card was just always at three. Like, once some more got banned, um, this card never had a reason to stay on the list. Uh, Face Off was, is another one where it's like, okay, cool. It's like, it's back, but what does it do? Like, nothing, really. Um... Because you have to play the Draco Overlords, I think, to make full use of this card. And so Draco Slayers can definitely use this to, you know, extend and to um, make more plays. But at the same time, it's like, I don't think this will be a card that great because the Draco Overlords do nothing to, you know, continue your combos. And then we got Multiroll back at three. And Multiroll is like one of the dumbest cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! history. This is like Spellbook of Judgment on crack. Because Sky Striker spells and traps are way more playable and generic than fucking um, spell books are. So I don't know why they put multi row back up to three other than to literally tell niggas, hey, Sky Striker's still here. But like, yeah, I, I just think they're really trying to push uh, Sky Striker really hard. Um, so coming up, moving forward, uh, first off, now that Super Heavy's kind of been neutered. Like, at the very, like, we can all agree on that. Like, they've been just neutered. Like, it doesn't matter if the deck continues to be competitive or not. Because now it's, like, it's a lot less likely it'll see results. Because the consistency of the deck has kind of just been killed. Um, with Scarecrow, they might have to rely on Verna Sylphs. They might still be able to FTK and hand loop because Gotham's is still around. But, like, ultimately, um, like, pure Super Heavy Samurai might not be the play anymore. Maybe Earth Machine still has some merit to it because you still have ballista you might need to play more copies of regulus to play around hand traps and yeah just expect everything from super heavy to just crash from this point um cash deer is going to be just fine if anything the prices might start going back up because now that we know cash deer isn't getting touched basically like other than diablosis like th this deck really is going to be the exact same and one of Rise Heart is really all it takes. Like, w they never needed multiple, you know? Like, it, <laughs> like, it's one of those things where it's like, you either got to ban it or it just 
you know, keep it at three or whatever. I guess, you know, because it's a soft once per turn, having it at one might make some differences. But as long as Castillo players are really, um, you know, pay, paying attention to their technical play, like a deck like Castillo Runic could still fucking work, or a deck, you know, like Castillo can still work, basically, because they still have their one card combos. Like, you only hit one card out of the entire main deck of Castillo. Which, you know, it's just mind-blowing how much they... Like, Kashtira has been around since, like, February and has been dominating the format since. Like, it's never been a for, a, a time. Even even post-Super um, Heavy Samurai, post-Cyberstorm Axis, like, Super Heavy Samurai only... was only in second place still. Like, it's not even like the, it was the best deck out there. It was just, like... Well, you know, Scarecrow, you know, Super Heavy Samurai got a lot of, like, a lot of people were playing it now because it was a combo deck. It was different. No, you know, no spells and traps. I think it was, it, I'm not saying, like, it wasn't too too strong, but I'm just saying, like, they did not have to kill it this hard, this quickly. Um, and then keep Kashira around, you know? Like, nothing from, like, um, from, like, pre-Cyberstorm Access really got hit. Because Branded got new support to completely, um, to completely, uh, sort of ignore the fact that Explosion got banned. So now that, and it's, it's a good thing Explosion got banned now because I was cooking with Branded Gate Guardian and I was thinking about Explosion, but like, I sort of had a feeling it was going to hit, get hit on the ban list rather than Gimmick Puppet. Like, because you know how Konami has like their priorities mixed up sometimes. So it's a good thing that they hit Explosion now. Because now it's like, okay, I know I have to cook with the new Albion Fusion rather than with Explosion. Because um, there there could have been a play where it's like, okay, you make a Gate Guardian Fusion, then you, you know, during your opponent's turn, you activate Explosion on like a useless like Albion or something, or like a Mirror Jade that's already activated its effect. And you get to bring back your materials, and you get to banish both of them to make another Fusion. Like, there was a play that could do that. Now, the new Albion only brings back one to each field. And they have to be from Grave. So, that's not going to work the same way that Explosion does. And I really just wish that they hit Gimmick Puppet instead. But, like, even even with, like, a Gimmick Puppet ban, there would still be Raw's Disciple. There would still be... There's still, like, three or four other ones, like the DD Griffin. Like, they, they'd they have to hit all those cards, which is why I understand why Explosion got banned. But they also should have hit uh, Puppet, because Puppet because Puppet and the DD Griffin are also the only ones that, um, that are, like, lingering effects. Where it's, like, after it's summoned, it's a lingering effect that stops you from playing the game for a turn. And funny enough, um, because they didn't hit Transporter, Super Heavy Samurai could still potentially have a play where they um, summon the Snowplow Hustle Rustle to their opponent's side of the field. But I don't know how consistent that that it'll be. Oh my god. This fucking comment right here. Wait, hold on. That's it. That seals the deal. I've been an active Yu-Gi-Oh player since 1995 and I've never seen such a bad list in my life. Until you fix all this, I'll be playing the Digimon TCG. Bro, they don't care. <laughs> Like, bro, who asked? What is this fucking Mech Knight Gearsu in his in his profile picture? I'm I'm sorry, bro. Um, something about Maxi being on the list is pretty funny. Uh, they seriously hit Super Heavy Samurai and Naturia. Yeah, I'm surprised like Naturia got like dicked down this hard with like Sacred Tree, but like, yeah. Uh, Trap Tricks, nah. Sorry, bro. Um. Thank God I don't buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards anymore, or else I'd be really annoyed. Yeah, like, it's really hard to predict sometimes what Konami wants to do. Like, sometimes it's easy. Like, we knew Diablosis, and we knew Explosion, but, like, Scarecrow was just, like, so out of left field. Uh, quick fix of three. We're fucking back. Let's go. I mean, if if you can cook something up with with, with no master plan, bro, that's, that's all the more power to you. Oh, my God. This is a, <laughs> this is a fucking Cardian artwork. Is this fucking Magic the Gathering cards? They, they look like Magic the Gathering cards on the artwork. Uh, until you fix this, I'll be playing Koi Koi where they actually know how to properly balance a game. Uh, where's my damn cat? Mi Miyamu, they, they, they can't bring back. A Adventure Package is, is still around. They can't bring back Miyamu. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, literally Scarecrow 
over here just standing your money's own business. It was so scary, got itself banned. Well, that guy's pretty hype. Uh, I'm curious to see how much this hurts cashier. Was debating getting a core bow and see what happened. Bounce before I did, but hey, engaging to do multiple factor three makes me happy. I think a rise heart was a problem card here, not Diabolosis or the other ranks have it. Nothing to really hurt their infinite splash runics. Um, Branded Fusion still the best top deck in Yugo right now next to a Luber. We are still alive. Oh, Sprite. <laughs> That's funny. I'm saving that. Rip, rip, rip the homie Cyberstein. Honestly, like Cyberstein's just a toxic card. It's it's just modern Yu-Gi-Oh. We we just can't have a card like this. Like Verde Anaconda proved it too. Like we just can't have cards that just allow any deck to bring out a fusion. It's it's just too it's just too late. It like the, the game just has way too much for for this to be allowed. Um that's it. That seals the deal. I've been an active Ego player since 1995. I've never seen such a bad list. I'll tell you, I'll be playing Magic the Gathering. Makes you know how to probably balance the game. Well, that's actually kind of funny. I've heard a lot of complaints about Magic. Uh, live Orcus reaction. Oh my god, they didn't bring back Harpoor or Electromite. Man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, you know, Dong's out for dang long. Dong's out for dang long. But, like,. I'm sorry to the Orcus players. You guys still have plays. You know, it's not like you guys are completely out the water. And you could play Super Heavy Samurai if you wanted to. Um, also, shoutouts to the people whose nationals were before the ban list. So, I mean, even UK nationals is still going on right now. So, shout out to the people whose nationals were before this ban list and who could play uh, Super Heavy Samurai. Oh my god, DP Yu-Gi-Oh's reacting. Um, I was just watching the stand live stream. Are, are they not even going to address the ban list? I don't think they have. What, yeah, what was the last game? Life. Look at this. Marincess and Dragon Link. Where, where, where's, where, where's the last super heavy player? This is this is the last super heavy player to play. Why the hell do they have the Nordic Trap card? Uh, the last super heavy samurai player to play the game. Look at this. Tristan P. He's, he, he's going to be the last person to play Super Heavy completely full power before knowledge of this ban list came out. So, um, shoutouts to Tristan P for piloting this deck to fucking success. I mean, it, it looks like he's going to win here. I didn't watch this full match. Look at this. Excel, Synchro, Baron, Scales. Come on. You got this. You got this, right? G Genius, Pendulum Summon. Look at this. this. This guy's not even touching his hand. This guy's not even touching his hand. Look at this. Regulus. Fucking Scarecrow. Oh, and and he's playing the Albion Fusion, which is hilarious. Like, hitting Cyberstein only hits Super Heavy Samurai. So there's two super, there's two really big Super Heavy Samurai bands. There's two big Super Heavy Samurai bands. But no, not this Albion Fusion that, you know, fucking allows for this degenerate fucking puppet lock to continue. Or not even Gimmick Puppet Nightmare itself. Just... Just Cyberstein, just Scarecrow, which is hilarious. I mean, again, like, uh, hitting Cyberstein is perfectly fine. But Scarecrow being banned and not limited is, like, the most slimy thing I've seen Konami done uh, done to a deck that has just come out. And that is mostly affordable, except for the extra deck and Regulus. Like, this is this was one of the most affordable fucking um, decks, especially if you had the, the package before... Um, Cyberstorm Axis came out like you were supposed to. <laughs> like, if you were planning to play this deck and then Cyberstorm Axis came out and you saw Wakashi was only like $2 and the rest of them were commons, like, you were kind of popping off. Whereas, um, if you fucking... Like, if you wanted to play Branded or Manadium or any... Like, you're dishing down like two to $300 at the minimum to play one of these other meta decks, even Cash Tira, so... It's like, man, this deck was, like, somewhat affordable, somewhat um, e e easy to access, and they immediately just hit it with the fucking quickness. Now, we can get creative with Burner Sylphs and with, um, you know, we do still have, like, FTK potential, Genius is still around, Wakashi. Um, we might need to play Double Soul Guy Booster now, maybe even three of them. Uh, fucking 
Peacemaker is going to be... Actually, now I think about it, Peacemaker might be more of a staple because Wagon is now your best starter. And um, it's also going to be the only way that we can guarantee... Um, we can guarantee getting a, a fucking two card or we can get guarantee getting soul piercer to grave because now we don't have link ones we need extenders with our soul piercers uh we we like the deck isn't dead but like it's still playable which is fine but like it's, it's gonna take a lot of creativity to make it like meta again you know like the, like losing scarecrow is a really big hit holy shit like, completely, not even limited, you know, like, limited, I understand, but, like, just completely bland, uh, banned, it's like, oh, man, anyway, enough of me rambling for now, uh, this has been your boy Nistro here, hope you guys enjoyed, um, let me know what you guys think about the ban list coming, uh, coming forward, um, actually, uh, l l let me know what you guys think about the, the potential of <laughs> the fucking synchro, uh, Dino Zephra in 2023 this shit's not gonna work anymore but i'm i'm still i'm still on the copium um and i will have to update you guys with more lists and more um more strategies post ban list so um i'll get to work and i'll see you guys in the next one peace you know it's really it's really sad it's really sad i had a really interesting ad emancipator build of super heavy samurai that I did not have the time to fully edit the video, and now I just have to scrap the whole thing because goddamn Scarecrow's banned, so we got to go back to the drawing board. Well, oh yeah, and also Gamma banned. So that's not, that's not just two big hits, that's three big hits. Three, oh my god, I accidentally closed out the Twitter page. Three big hits to fucking Super Heavy Samurai. Not even like two weeks after the... Oh, well, I guess it was three weeks. Not even three weeks after the deck came out. Like, holy fuck. Man. What the fuck, man. Alright. I'm done. I'm done. No, I'm done.